I'm Skylar Hardman with BYU TV Sports, and welcome to BYU Football Media Day. Today, I have the opportunity to take you behind the scenes. Inside, there is a team of around a dozen athletic department employees greeting media members, special guests, players, and coaches. We've done it for three years now, and we have about 70 registered media members, and that doesn't include um, a lot of the BYU TV media as well. So I would guess total it's around 80, 85 members of the media, both national and local. While most of the media was there looking for a good sound bite, some may have shown up just for the food. We have approximately 300 people in the building at one time. We'll probably feed 250 of those. The athletics department was giving directions and keeping everybody happy while BYU TV worried about putting on a live broadcast. I'm standing just outside of Studio C here in the broadcast building and we're just moments away from the first live broadcast of Media Day. That is the state of the program address with Coach Bronco Mendenhall and Athletic Director Tom Homo. Let's take a look inside. Inside our studios with a big crowd of media and Cougar Club members on hand, I'm Dave McCann. It's great to be back with you. Today's program is live on BYU TV, BYU Radio, and ESPN3.com. Dave McCann and his guests often look perfect at home, but it's not without a lot of chaos behind the scenes. Right now I'm standing outside of one of the control rooms. In here you'll see a lot of the magic that happens. A producer is directing everyone and someone else is pushing all the buttons to make the cameras switch. And from here it goes out live on air. Let's take a look. Six, five, 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 four, 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 three, three two, two, one, and roll your break. A lot of what goes on in the control room now is somewhat hyped because this is a live production. It's not every day that BYU Broadcasting does a live production. So with that in mind, it's again heightened as far as nerves go and everything else, how it happens because there's no retakes. This is the only time all year that we do two hours worth of live shows. Add on the True Blue that we taped a day before and then you have three brand new shows on Media Day, which is a lot of fun for us. A lot of work, but it's awesome. Breaking news and funny moments keep the graphics crew very busy. Talk about the immediacy. Spencer Linton, green room guy. There you go. Yeah, green room guy. You've yeah. created something Snacks here. ought to be in parentheses. I am the graphics coordinator for Media Day, and basically I have been gathering statistics and all sorts of different information to put on fonts for full frames and lower thirds and name supers. Just today they announced that Bronco was going to renew his contract till 2016, and we didn't know the date until right as Tom Homo said it, so we just created a graphic real quick, threw it up there, and so people could visually see what was going on, they can read it, and then be like, okay, we're on the same page, we know what we're talking about here. While Sydney takes care of the graphics, Aaron worries about making the video come across as flawless. You sit in a dark room all day long, and count down the videos so the producers know when to get out of them so there's no blank screen time on the air or frozen frames. We only had one other editor, so it was him and I just kind of tackling the video for all three shows that we did, and then I've been the one in charge of executing all the video basically for the show itself. Downstairs, Aaron and the rest of the crew are making sure the international broadcast runs smoothly. Meanwhile, upstairs, another team works on live web chats. I probably interviewed about 25 people today. We use the term media blitz and, and that would be an appropriate name for today. A lot of players, a lot of interviews, a lot of coaches, and I'm sure that they would say the same thing. But During the hustle and bustle, players and coaches even have people to keep them looking good. High def is very key on reds and blues, so if they have a sunburn or if they have like a, a discoloration under the eyes, we have to minimize those. Have you had anyone say no today, like I'm not taking makeup? I don't think they know that they could do that. <laughs> we don't give them that option. <laughs> That's not an option. Being pulled out of their realm and having makeup slapped on them can make some players wish they were working out instead. They have to go on camera and be exciting and be all happy. and whatever. Not that you have to, but you know, you do and so sometimes you just get tired. <laughs> Would you rather have a hard day conditioning or be at media day for a few hours? I'd rather work out. I'd rather be in the weight room, honestly. I, that's where home is for us. By the end of BYU Football Media Day, everybody knows the team a lot better and is looking forward to the 2013 season. 
I hope you've enjoyed your look behind the scenes at Media Day. For BYU TV Sports, I'm Skylar Hardman. Thank <laughs> you.